Hello guys, welcome to a other video. Thanks for coming back again. Um, in this one I will show you some basic things with Cadence Conversions. You see the plugin here. Uh, it's a super easy way to create pop-ups, slide-ins, banners without having to code anything. Uh, with a lot of customizability, with a lot of options for when the pop-up should uh, pop up. Um, I will show you in a minute. It's really, really, really uh, awesome. You can do a lot of stuff with the plugin. It's um, uh, in, in the Cadence Pro package, so you have to have the paying version of Cadence to be able to use it. Um, and to make it work, you also have to have the Cadence Blocks plugin uh, enabled uh, to have conversions uh, working. But if you install conversions, it will give you a error or a warning if you do don't have the blocks yet. This is just a free version of Cadence Blocks, but for the conversions you have the paid version. Okay, let's get into it. So it's here, conversions. and um, here you will have a list of all your, uh, so I just put one in but it's nothing yet, where you have like, like a, uh, you can see easily I have a pop-up, it's called, you, normally you make a title that's a bit descriptive so you know um, what kind of pop-up or what, what is the, the, the goal of this pop-up. The trigger, uh, now I haven't set anything so it's none, it's shown on the entire site for all users so these are, these are all things you will be able to change um, in the settings of the pop-up. Okay, and You can make it publish and draft like this really easily so you can disable it if you're not really finished yet and then save it for later and when you're happy you can publish it from here from the dashboard as well let's make a new one I have the pop-up is uh, the first one slide in and then banner banner is something that will stay on bottom on, on or top uh, of the screen most of the times a slide in will literally slide in from the side and then for example to give you a cookie notice or for whatever and then a pop-up is also yeah everybody knows what a pop-up is let us take the banner for now you have some templates you can start with like these banners are like cookie policy banners you can use uh, you can also start blank and just start completely customizing your own thing um, I'll maybe take this one just to show you um, so there are some cadence blocks in it and that's why you have to have cadence blocks enabled uh, otherwise the cadence conversions won't work so add the title so something descriptive um, promo when leaving page or something. I will show you why I named this so. The conversion settings, if you open it up, if I click on this, I have my row layout selected now and I, you see I have the, my settings of my row layout here. So these are all set by the template that I have selected, but you can adjust this of course. Uh, if you want other colors and stuff, this will probably be here, like the red color. Um, but if I want to change my conversion settings, I have to go one level higher. You see this icon, if I click on this, I have the settings, you see these settings on the right side are completely changed. You can also do this here. If you click on the list view, you have like an, uh, yeah, like an overview of all the nested sections you have. So this is how my conversion item is built. So you have a row layout. The row layout always has, has a section. Uh, and in this section, you have a countdown timer with an advanced button. Um, so the countdown, let me see. This is set on a date. Yeah, that's not really relevant for now. Um, let me maybe fix this to current date in December so he will let's say for tomorrow so you have you see it's updated already so it will be counting down from the date uh, so if I put this it will be 79 hours so let's pick tomorrow show timer at zero and then if you have a pro version of the cadence blocks you see you have some extra options here let's just click on publish for now Go back to my conversion item do this away then the launch triggers this is something you have to think about you have some uh, you always have to select one because otherwise it will probably not pop up um, you can say i want a time delay this means that if the people get on your page wait 5000 milliseconds and then the banner should appear this is time delay exit intent this is when people are start to go to the top trying to close the page then it should pop up for example so when leaving page this is probably something i will use and then scroll distance this means scroll down for 300 pixels and then it should appear this is a bit the same thing if you watched my previous video with the cadence elements where i make the sticky floating button then we did the same way people scroll down for 200 pixels and then the button at the bottom popped up 
this is the same thing and you can hide it again if the people sc uh, scroll up again end of content if they come just at the end of the page it should pop up on load this means immediately when the page is opened up it will be there or a custom link this means the trigger link this is something I will show you in a later video where you can cop when you can couple the cadence conversions with the cadence elements so you take this one custom link and you have to paste this trigger inside of a button that's made with a cadence element and so you can make some really awesome stuff but that's for a later video let's maybe see exit intent if this works and then conversion settings so this is a banner you can change it again here but let's keep a banner enable analytics tracking that's also useful if you want to know if people actually click on your button or not and then you have to set what is a goal clicking the button or submit a form this is for me there is no form so it's clicking a button and then goal specific button class conversion button is the goal let's check if our button has this class let's go inside inside advanced button advanced then additional CSS classes you can put the class here so let's go back let's go to conversion button copy and paste so then the conversion item knows this is the click the button that should be clicked to be able to track it close conversion on goal event so that means that if people the goal is to people to click on this uh, button and it should link them probably to a page where they can uh, pay pay for whatever uh, software or, or course you have um, and if you want the, the conversion to be closed then you have to enable this this means once they clicked it it will be gone I wouldn't do this in case of a promo because if they clicked on it and then they return back uh, and they want to click on it again it should be there again yeah repeat control super handy uh, especially if you use it as a banner for cookies then you can say enable repeat control and this means it's the explanation is actually saying it all this means if people this has no closing button it only has a goal event this button but there are banners where there will be for example a cookie notice where there will be accept cookies or decline or a closing button where people just close it away but they didn't accept the cookies so this is on close then if they haven't closed button on close this means for 30 days if they clicked it away I want I won't show this again to that person for 30 days and if they clicked on the button so my goal is to click let them click on the button so on goal event let them uh, not see this banner for 90 days so for cookie notices this can be handy but for promo things I would disable this because yeah you want them to see it every time for, of course even if they clicked on it you're not really sure if they actually bought something so I maybe leave this off but it can be really handy to control it positioning this is the top the middle or the bottom the banner will be usually at the top or on the bottom size settings this has all been set also with the with the row layout so we don't really have to do anything here but you can change the content you see I can actually do some max width settings here so if I don't want it to be wider than 1000 pixels on, on white screens or not want it to be wider than 1500 pixels or whatever I can set this here but uh, I'm not going to do this container styling again you have all kinds of options to style it here you see these are all empty because it's a row layout imported inside of a conversion item so you can do all the styling here with the row layout uh, but actually it was also possible to do it uh, here in the conversion item itself the only thing is with a row layout you can make two columns and you can you have more options so it's easier to style it by doing a row layout than a conversion item but if you only need a really simple conversion item with not two columns and whatever only some padding margin border um, then you can just do it here with the container styling you also have a color border width radius and, and stuff like this target pages this is also really handy you can say I only want this to be shown on my single post or on the category containing a certain product uh, or on single pages or you can do it on the entire site but often you don't always want this uh, popping up on every page on your site you can say I only want this to be my s single post for example and then you can group your post by author or individually if you want to select them um, and you can always say I want to exclude it on also my single posts for example uh, and then all 
all posts containing this author or some individual posts shouldn't have this uh, banner you can uh, within single posts select some that shouldn't have this banner as well yeah. target visitors probably all users but if you have a, a website where people have to be logged in you can say only logged in users can see this banner for example they are logged in and they already bought level one and then this banner might say hurry uh, you can buy level two for uh, savings now and then you can say i only want my logged in users to be uh, viewing this and then you will have also your roles this is also really awesome i have no specific roles now i have another video where i show this uh, with specific roles where i have a level one and a level two and you can say i only want my level one when my level Platinum level, whatever uh, is logged in, I want them to see the pop up to um, pay a little bit more and they go to the next level or they have the next course. And for my level twos, this should be hidden because they all already have this. So you can make it really, really specific for certain parts of your website and certain parts of your audience as well. So I'm going to close this now because otherwise we won't. Uh, see much later on devices i want this on all dev devices or desktop and tablet and not on mobile because it's too intrusive is also a possibility requests this is more specific i'm not going to go uh, over this too much but on refer domain this means if people are referred from a certain domain for example from facebook or whatever then show this pop-up so you can really really make it super specific or if you know how query strings uh, work if you, you know there is a certain query in your string uh, you can also set the, the query here and every time the string uh, on, top, on top has this query like here example equals true you, here you have action equals edit something like this it will be shown so can make it really really specific and scheduling you can also say i only want this to be on between these two dates for example uh, so it starts here and it expires here so really awesome or recurring i want it to be always on mondays between this and this time or these days so super super uh, nice all the options you have close settings you can enable a close button so here it is and this is something you can then use for the repeat control on close a different amount than on goal event yeah. most of the time it's inside the box but you can of course do whatever you want with this but you see it works perfectly fine Z, Z index if you notice if the it's staying on top and people scroll down and you notice that some content goes over your banner then you can pop this up to a high number and then it will probably go on top of everything yeah. additional CSS classes you can give it if you want some more specific custom code things I always use this for uh, additional CSS classes okay let's click on update so what did I actually choose exit intent okay the banner clicking button the repeat control is off positioning size is all set with the row layout target pages I'll make this entire site for now because otherwise I don't really it's just a demo site let's have a look so now it's not showing up by default if i now go to you see now it pops up when i try to go to close the page let's refresh i go to close the page and it pops up so when my mouse is is going away from the from the screen itself it notices it and then it comes up so really awesome then a pop-up would maybe be better because this really pops up on the whole screen so people will uh, often see this more and maybe read it but just to show you that this works then uh, time delay is just 5000 milliseconds so just and then it will take five seconds and then it should probably uh, pop up yeah there it is so five seconds can put of course a little bit less a certain scroll distance so 300 and let's go to my sample page and start scrolling oh it's not big enough let's make it 100 pixels refresh this scrolling down and then it's there yeah so this is the problem with scroll down distance if you have short posts it might not show up if you have like something like 400 pixels or whatever it will only show up show up on pages where they can actually scroll down uh, enough so to reach the, these 400 pixels so you have to think about that a little bit yeah end of content so when i reach the end of content and then a custom link is something i will show you with uh, cadence elements again so it is also something really awesome okay hope this was helpful these are the same settings if i go to a 
slide in and a pop-up you see these are all the same things you can uh, do let's for, uh, maybe I'll show you one little thing in the middle like this update and then make the exit intent again so you will see this works a little bit better I think so we have this and I want to go away and bam, you have the pop-up coming up so then the thing is if you don't have a closing button you see I can't I click everywhere and it's not doing anything unless I click on it. so you have to make sure this links to a page this does something and if you want them to be able to just click it away so it's it's like a pop-up should be always be able to to be clicked away you have to make sure you enable the closing button because otherwise yeah your website is actually broken and they have to refresh to get it away and then when they leave again you have the same thing so that's why the cookies can be handy because now every time I do the same thing again it pops up again so if they closed it here you can say in the repeat control I don't want it to be shown to the same user for the couple of for one day for example so he clicked it away this day so it won't be showing up so let me check now it's here but I have no closing button so I have to enable that one first enable close button inside box update okay one more refresh I go away it pops up I close it and now it shouldn't come back you see and tomorrow if I go back to the site tomorrow it will pop up again so it makes it really customizable and makes the user experience as smooth as possible voila hope that was helpful thank you for watching and see you in the next one